This episode's FTR shoutout goes to Guy Shoji. Leave a comment down below to have a chance for a shoutout in the next episode. Make sure you're subscribed. Check out this awesome shirt that my girlfriend designed for our camp. As iron sharpens iron, Proverbs 27, 17. Get it? Iron? Huh? Iron? F E? Yeah. Hey, Apache, you know what time it is? Fish tank review. Can you say it? Can you say that? Fish tank review. Say it. Apache doesn't want to talk right now. She's, uh, she's not very, uh, not very talkative right now. So some of you wanted me to start a Discord. So I started a Discord and you guys have been joining. It's actually been super fun. Everybody's posting pictures of their tanks, of their pets, uh, getting to know one another. There's people with questions being answered. I'll leave a link in the comment section if you haven't already heard or joined. Join up, you don't want to miss this. My local zoo. There are about 15 wild fish in there. Man, what kind of zoo is this? I've been to a few zoos in my life and I haven't seen anything um, like that in a zoo before. Is that duct tape? <laughs> this is so ghetto. This is like zoo in where? Detroit? Is this like hood zoo? I'm pretty sure that's a picnic table. And wild fish? Were they just caught by the lake? There's no filter or anything, it's just a uh, airline that's pumping out some bubbles. I mean that's better than nothing, but <laughs> not by much. And you said there's 15 in there? In the comments though, um, there was some mentioning about how this wasn't actually a zoo and instead it was like a shelter for animals without homes. I don't know, if you know anything about this, let me know. Help me confirm. But yeah, can you just imagine if it was actually in a zoo, imagine paying like 15 to 20 dollars going in and then seeing this. WTF? A big shout out to my patrons making all of this possible. A shout out in the comment section below. Again, you guys are making it possible for me to make all this content. I have literally not saved a penny from any of the proceeds. Creating content in this hobby is definitely not cheap. So all of your support is directly going back into this channel. And a big thank you to my subscribers and everyone who is watching right now. You guys are making this happen as well. If you have sent in a tank and it has not shown up yet, don't worry, it is on the waiting list for sure. Thank you so much for your patience. Incompatible tank mates in tight quarters. Just playing. This is not gonna go well. Oh shoot, oh it's, oh. Wow. It's getting pinched, I'm pretty sure. How's that crab still alive? It's still alive. It's like, oh, I'm getting the hell out of here now. Yeah, um, incompatible, yes. Just playing? No. Unless their version of just playing is like, the same as if a lion was hunting down a wildebeest in the savannah and then the whole lion, what's it called, pride, the whole pride of lions starts eating the wildebeest, that's, if that's just playing. Previous owner abandons aquarium with two live fish and overfilled amount of food. Now I've seen a lot of random chairs and drawers and stuff, sofas, laying on lawns or like in front of someone's house property. Um, obviously they threw it out and it's for free, you can take it. I've never seen a- okay no, I've seen fish tanks for free as well because I, I think like a few of mine were free. Um, not the fluval one, didn't find that just outside, but my 20 gallon, which is right there actually. That was free, that was outside someone's house. But have never seen a fish tank still with fish. And uh, not to mention, look at the amount of food on top. What in the world? That, that's like, that is disgusting and it's gonna kill that fish even faster. No filter, no heater, just left outside. Who knows how cold the temperature is there at night. And at least have the decency to give more water. Like it's all the way down the bottom. But why are we even talking about any of that? Look at the amount of food again. What the hell? I think I figured it out. I think because they're uh, giving the fish away for free, they just decide to dump all the remaining food they had into the tank. Like, eat up, buddy. It might be a while before someone picks you up. So eat up. Don't want you to starve. Don't worry, it won't be starving. That's not how it'll die. Adding a fish to a Lego aquarium and teaching 500,000 people that this is okay. Monster Mike Fishing, 789,000 subscribers. World's best mini Lego aquarium with live fish. Real, I wish it wasn't real. This is what I wish was actually clickbait for once. 
If that isn't the world's tiniest aquarium, guys, this isn't a competition, okay? You don't you don't compete to see who can abuse fish more. Now, I'm pretty sure they put it in there and then took it out. One of the comments said that. It's like, they put it in there and took it out. Like, it was to defend Monster Mike fishing. But dude, he's got Monster in his name. Especially if he does this to show his viewers, and I'm pretty sure most of them are very young, that this is okay. And many people have Lego, and many people will get this and put fish in it. Um, I don't know, just for fun even, that still stresses the fish out. And some of them, maybe a handful, will just keep fish in that little thing. This is not okay, guys. Why does he have so many subscribers and views? I'm, I'm jealous. But don't worry, folks, I'm never selling out like that. Fancy goldfish in drums? That is very colorful, but I don't see any goldfish. I see fish that are very vividly colored, like it's supposed to be salt water. I don't see no goldfish here, man. But I'm gonna trust your word for it. Sure, it's goldfish. Just hope that these drums are not being played. If it's not obvious enough, the amount of vibrations um, in a drum is so compact, it's crazy to have anything living in it while you're playing it. It actually doesn't look like it's still being used. It looks purely for display. But what gets to me is, is this. The guy who made it said, goldfish are perfect because they only need aeration and have adapted to smaller spaces. Again, different definitions, I guess. If you think adapt means being forced into something, so like you thinking child labor is okay because the children have adapted to working when they're 12, sure that they've adapted, but again, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that's the definition of adapt. I think there should be a biological change to make it okay for that fish to be in small spaces. If they've truly adapted, I don't think this would be on the bad section of a fish tank review video. Now, next one is a little bit of a super meme over here. Hey guys, look at my cool new goldfish. Wouldn't it be funny if it could live for five to 10 years, grow six plus inches long, and have a memory of over five months and need a filtered tank of 20 to 40 gallons? I mean, that would just be ridiculous. Now, yeah, this is a super cringy, cheesy meme, but this is like how I feel working at the pet store when someone comes in and like, hi, hi, excuse me, can I get a goldfish? And I'm like, how big is your tank? Oh, we're getting the bowl over there. That's every time I, I wish actually I could like hold a version of this meme up and be like, just read this, please reconsider. Found this in Pinterest. Apparently this is supposed to be aesthetic, not even close, this is horrible. Yeah, um, might be a Valentine's Day thing. Let me tell you now, if whoever you're interested in does this, run. And if you find this attractive, well, hope you two are happy together. I'm running, peace, peace. I really hope this is fake. Yeah, me too. Aliens, we should check Earth for intelligent forms of life. Earth, a bowl of Hennessy for my new goldfish. That guy's so stoned, he, he's starting to look like an alien, man. And honestly, I don't know how that fish is still alive. It's probably been in there for like, maybe two minutes, two seconds, I don't know. Can it even last a minute in, in alcohol like that? Man, that poor fish. At least it's going out drunk AF. Probably can't feel a thing anymore. Yeah, no wonder aliens never bother to visit. Or, or did they? Area 51, I'll be there. Had a yes, 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 no moment at the pet store earlier. Um, haven't read all of it, but I'm pretty sure it's like, yes, 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 no, as in good, 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 bad. Why do fish do bad in a bowl? You can't control the heat, yep. There's no good filtration, yep. Uh, fish do not like their water being changed all the time. Yeah, that's also true. And then here comes the no. There is one fish that can handle most of the above. That fish is called a betta. <laughs> Why, man? Why? No, get out of here. Again, bettas have not adapted to nothing. We just decided that for them. Might as well just get them to do child labor. I'm sorry, that's not something to laugh at. Child labor is freaking disgusting. Every child deserves a childhood. Like if I didn't have a childhood, I wouldn't be like into SpongeBob memes right now. Welcome to our family, little ones. Not gonna be part of your family for long. <laughs> Love this guy. What is this? Posted by Sexman21. <laughs> Definitely 
something that someone like with that username would say. What a savage. And yeah, he's right. That one looks like it's gone already. The other one looks like it wants to be gone. This looks like something that a mom would do. Moms, I see you. Do your research properly, okay? And to those who do their research properly, you have a lot to deal with, with your kids and everything. Still doing your research properly. That's amazing. Our first tank is sent in by Deep Shubra from India. Got a nice carpet going on, nice little group of neon tetras, some rasboras and black neons, and I'm not sure what that fish is. I like the understocking and I like the live plants. There's also a catchment for the duckweed up top and these gorgeous pictures of the shrimp in the tank. And then this alternative angle. Really lovely tank, I like that it's rimless. Such a clean look. Everything is going very right for this tank. We're starting off strong, 4.75, let's go. Oh, and can I just add that he's not using any CO2 for this? Next tank from Ken Lemuel. Right off the bat, what catches my eye is that this tank is dirted, or at least I'm pretty Pretty sure it's dirted. It might be some other nutrient rich substrate, but it could also be organic potting mix. And it's capped by what looks to be sand. It's another nice rimless, got a powerful light up top, and all the plants are growing really well. I think that's Dwarf Sag doing the carpeting. Anubius everywhere, amazing. And then the Crips in the back growing large. Dwarf Sag, Anubius, and Crips. There's also that Tiger Lotus. The Lemon Tetras are getting pretty big. One Grammy in there, I think that's a cardinal. That might be a hatchet fish, I'm not sure. Anyways, awesome tank, super cool. I love the placement of the plants and the uh, little bits of hardscape here and there. Very lush. This definitely looks like an aged and balanced tank. I can't see any algae from here. Five out of five. Whew, let's go. Here's a tank from Michaela Nichols, sporting a super bright white substrate. The only thing is I hope you have some substrate fertilizers like root tabs for those big sorts that are gonna get big and consume a lot of nutrient. Doesn't look like it's dirted, but you know, if you dirted it correctly, I wouldn't be able to tell anyway. So maybe it is dirted, who knows? Stocked with emerald quarries, ember tetras, and honey gourami. Four out of five, keep it up. Here's a tank from Molly Nicholson. She's a 13-year-old aspiring aquarist and convinced dad to let her aquascape. I don't think you have to ever convince him anymore. This is a sick aquascape. There's a few plants I'm not sure of actually. Um, that one and the one in the very back. Not sure what those plants are. It almost looks a little artificial to me, which I guess is fine. Like, it still looks pretty natural. I mean, you do have the live plants all around this tank. I really like how you filled out the height of the tank. It's not a shallow tank at all, and you've made good work out of it with that hardscape. And then you mossed it up. Very nice. Carpeting plant starting to do its thing. Every corner of the tank is being used up by fish. Oh, there's even Congo Tetras in here. And seeing how you are 13 and you had to actually convince your dad to let you do this. Your dad should be convincing you to aquascape all their tanks from now on. 4.9 out of 5. Let's go. Here's an island effect tank sent in by Rosie Wright all the way from Australia. Good day, mate. Every single time I hear the word Australia. Good day, mate. I'm sorry if that's coming off racist. I really don't mean to be racist. Don't mind me. I'm just a Chinese guy living in Canada making fun of an Australian accent. <laughs> Anyways, I'm getting derailed from this awesome looking tank. Man, if this isn't impressive. Anytime there's an island aquascape, I'm down and let me tell you it might look like an easy aquascape to do But yeah, the amount of consideration that went into this definitely a lot She might have had to even use super glue and then plant around very meticulously five out of five Next we have a tank sent in by spooky noodle three goldies in a 65 gallon with three goldfish All you need is 40 gallons yet you have 65 going that extra mile. You're even trying out the live plants I respect that 4.1 out of 5 if not anything, just for doing it correctly. This next tank is sent in by Tarek from Bosnia and Herzegovina. Man, I don't even know where that is. Actually, I searched it up and it's somewhere close to Italy. I've heard of Bosnia, but I didn't know it was actually Bosnia and Herzegovina. Tarek, I'm pretty sure you're being very resourceful. You have chosen a simple substrate and these rocks are probably just foraged around your area, yet they look very nice together and you've made the aquascape look super good, just with the simple things that you could forage. And the plants are very non-demanding, so that light is just doing work. This tank is super simple, it's got a clean look and it works. And I'm sure it didn't cost a fortune either because smart, resourceful guy, Tarek. Loving the school of cardinals. 
and that betta. There's some other fishies over there in the corner, and here is another perspective. Those cardinals are getting pretty huge. 4.5 for such a resourceful and simple scape. Guys, it's that time of the video. We have to say goodbye uh, for another few days. Hopefully, I'll get another video out soon. Yeah, I've been crazy. It's like I post some other video and you're like, When's a fish tank review though? I'm sorry, that's not all I am, okay? My name is Chris. It's not fish tank review. I do post other videos. Some of them I think are better than a lot of FTRs. Make sure you check them out too. I put a lot of time into it. But of course, if you enjoy FTR, very thankful that you are watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. There'll be more videos to come and don't forget to get your hands wet.